right now, if you are a filmmaker of any sorts, let's say you're a director, let's say you're an editor, let's say you're a solo one-man band videographer, you're a photographer, graphic designer, whatever have you, whoever follows this channel right now, you're probably impacted by all of the chaos that's going on in the world. And I wanted to make this video today. I put it in my mind that I was going to make a video, number one, because I haven't in a little while. Um, and also, I wanted to make something that was, at least I feel, truly beneficial to the people out there. If only 200 people watch this, which I guarantee it's not going to get a lot of views because people want to see the camera reviews and this and that. And that's all fine and dandy. But right now, there's a lot of people out there hurt. There's a lot of people out there broken, whether that's in the creative community or just the world. A lot of people are really down mentally the morale is low and i hope that in some sort of way that this helps people who really need to hear this right now you got nothing but time and time is a thing that a lot of us need in the creative field uh just two weeks ago you know before all of the the shit hit the fan i was so busy i couldn't find a moment to think you know i'm out all day 12 hours on a shoot uh, and then between that is phone calls and meetings about other shoots, picking up rentals and doing this and that. And we take for granted the time that we're using all like always. And we think, oh, man, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. Well, guess what? Now is your time. Um, and I want to remind you guys of that. And let me just clarify what I'm talking about right now. About two days ago, I sat in the bed right over there. It was Monday. And. All I did was scroll through my phone and all I did was consume, 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 uh, read article after article, watch uh, video after video after what's going on in the world. And the reality of it is, is that 90% of that stuff is negative shit and it's designed to put you in fear. It is designed to cripple you, to control you for a bigger agenda than you really realize. Maybe I sound like a conspiracy guy, but the reality is, is that... A lot of people think that the second that they glue their face into this thing right here, everything that illuminates on their face is immediately the truth. They believe every last thing that they're going to hear. Now, I'm not saying that what is going on isn't real. I'm not at all. But what I am saying is, is that there is an agenda of fear to sell that fear to you for a much greater purpose than you or I could ever understand right now. Whether that's for political reasons, whether that's for economic reasons, it is. And there's a lot of stuff that is being overblown and overhyped. And you need to take everything that you hear with a grain of salt. You need to understand, okay, there's a virus out there. Okay, there's people going to be on, be on quarantine. Okay, I need to stay away from elderly people. I need to stay in groups uh, smaller than 10 and wash my hands all the time and do my part as a citizen. That's all you need to understand right now. If you, 24 hours a day, consume your head and everything in your life with what is going on and everything that is bad in this world, you are going to be very unhappy and you are not going to turn out at the other end of this whole entire thing. So right now, if you're creative, I urge you, delete your Facebook, delete your Instagram, or at least put it on mute. Try and use it less. Me, personally, I deleted it because I just, you know, that's what they want, you know. But somehow, they've gotten me to want to consume 24-7, so I found it just best to delete it. So right now, if you just shut all that other stuff out, if you accept a situation that's going on, um, you'll be much happier. You're going to be much more enlightened and you'll find the time to do the things that you wish that you had the time for prior to all of this. This is the time to learn DaVinci Resolve. This is the time to <laughs> learn that fucking crazy thing that you want to do in After Effects to plan your short films that you want to shoot this year. Uh, one thing is for certain, the human spirit is more powerful than anything on the face of this earth. If you don't believe that, man, you got problems. It is. People want to survive. People want to get past this. This isn't the end at all. This is a serious thing that's going on, 100%. But you need to shut out all the negativity. You need to shut out the fear. Accept the situation for what it is and do your part and find a way to move forward and be better than you were before as a creator, you know? Um, and that's what we do. And if you're not creating, if you're not building or anything, and your mind is just idle and consuming, you're going to be very, very unhappy. And I make this video 
not for the views on the topic, but because it genuinely hurt me to see how upset that I was just two days ago. And I've gone on a tangent, and if you're watching this video, you know that this is the truth. I've gone on a tangent of visiting some of my friends, calling some of my friends, and talking to them for like a half hour, almost an hour, on just how sick it is, you know? You, you sit there and you consume this stuff 24-7 and how miserable it makes you. And I share with people just how disconnecting from that can do so much for you and that we are going to move forward from this. We're going to get better. We're going to bounce back. You know, we have to do what we have to do as a world and team people right now, but it's not forever at all. And when you keep consuming this stuff that the, that the news is trying to push on you, you're going to be very, very miserable. So you can obviously tell that I'm pretty passionate about this topic because I'm rambling like I always do. But I just want to urge everybody out there to find a way to disconnect a little bit more from the news, from Instagram, from Facebook, because that is a virus in and of itself. It really is. Um, that fear. One person makes an article, one person reads it, another person shares that, another person reads that on a, on a story, another person reshares that, tells their friend and then their friend. It's serious. We know it is. We know it's a bad thing, but don't panic. Don't spread more fear. Don't spread that virus of fear. Create, learn all you can, build yourself to be better. Everything is going to be 100% okay. And you need to realize that there are many people out there who are profiting and benefiting off of your fear. And just remember that not everything that comes out of this device is the 100 percent God's honest truth meant for your better being. That's all I got to say. So everybody stay healthy out there. Don't panic. Take care of your loved ones. Wash your hands. Be, you know, totally vigil the entire time. Take care of your families and count everything that you have in this life right now because there's a lot of people out there who have a lot less than you do. There's a lot of people out there who have a lot less than I do, and I have to realize that and count all of those positives. So um, I hope this video reaches at least 100 of you. I hope this video truly gets to you and makes you think about things just a little bit differently in this time. Love you all if we're watching this. I don't really have much else to say, so... Um, this is Sean with Venture Art House. I'll see you guys again soon. This too shall pass.